Hello and welcome to a very quick video just looking at the differences in terms of print quality between the um, Instax Mini Lead Play which has been out for a while now and the Evo which is due to be released in America and Europe very soon. I got mine from Japan so that's why I have one now. Um, I have done a comparison video on my YouTube channel so please take a look at that but I didn't really look at print quality. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a difference between the two in terms of the Bluetooth printing, but the, there is a difference uh, with the Evo. Um, according to specs, it prints out twice the resolution when you print directly from the camera. So instead of printing 12.5 dots per millimetre, it can print 25 dots per millimetre on the Evo, um, whereas the Lee Play is just limited to 12.5 dots. Um, in terms of the Bluetooth side, uh, they print the same resolution. So if you print from your phone, um, the resolution remains the same at 12.5 millimetres, uh, dots per millimetre for both cameras. So it'd be interesting to see if I notice a difference um, when I print from the cameras due to the resolution. Uh, so what I did was uh, I took a... Um, the same picture, same day, same place, and I'll print this and we'll see if there's any difference. So um, on the Evo, it's in rich mode setting. Um, it has two print settings on the Evo, um, rich mode and natural mode. The Lee Play only has the standard set and there is no option to change it. So it'll also be interesting to see if that will have an effect. Um, so let's print images. So to print on the Evo is quite uh, simple. You just literally uh, press this lever and then it prints. And on here, it's just a matter of pressing this button here and prints. So both now will print. So now let's wait for the results. So what I wanted to quickly do whilst they were developing is just talk about the apps um, and the difference between the two. Uh, the Lead players recently had a firmware upgrade where you can now do many of the things you can do in the Evo app in the Lead Play app. So one thing they've added is transferred images. What this is, is you can um, transfer images you've print you printed from your camera to your phone or tablet but you cannot transfer um, images you haven't printed, unfortunately. I don't understand why they've done that. Maybe it's to encourage you to buy more film. I don't know. But the same is true for both the Lee Play and the Evo. So what you do is you go to um, printed image transfer and uh, you can select the ones you've printed and you just press OK and uh, transfer, you press print please select one more picture okay and then you press that button there and then it transfers over to there so, and it um has the frame like um the instax frame around it and that's how that works i've also noticed with the firmware upgrade they've also added um a new setting uh, print brightness. Uh, this is also on the Evo, so you can uh, change the brightness of your prints, which can be quite uh, useful because sometimes the images appear uh, dark, um, bright on the screen than when you print them, so that's also a good addition. So in the Evo, it's pretty much exactly the same. You go to printed image transfer and uh, you select the image you want to transfer. I want to select that one and press OK. There we go. And then it sends it to your tablet or your phone. And that's how that works. It's quite simple. Um, both also have remote shooting. Um, so you can have live view and um, if I just quickly show you. So you can use uh, your phone as a remote control. So that's also pretty good. That's on both cameras as well. So the pictures have now developed. Um, I would say the Evo is... You can see the greens more, it's a lot more vivid. Um, so the rich mode does print it quite vividly, I would say. Whereas the um, Lee Play is a lot darker, things are kind of, the details are lost there. But in terms of the quality, I can't notice too much of a difference. This should be high resolution. 
um, yeah, you can kind of see like the details in the bricks more, I would say. Um, but it's not overly different, I would say. It's just the, um, the lead play is printed out darker. So yeah, I, I might try natural mode um, and see if that is more like the standard uh, lead play. So I'll try that now actually. And then we can compare rich mode to um, natural mode. So let's give that a go. Okay, so let's just change the settings um, to, uh, to natural mode. So you go to print quality mode. Let's go natural mode and then let's print this image. I know it's upside down, it prints upside down, but that was just so I knew which um, picture was what. Okay, so if we uh, print that, so let's just check. Yes, I'm in natural mode and let's print it and just compare. And you get to see how long it takes to print actually as well. So the results are in. Um, it's actually quite interesting. Um, if we just compare the Evo, the rich mode to the natural mode, uh, the, nat the rich mode is, like I said, a lot more vivid. Uh, the colours are more warmer. Um, it's kind of got a weird kind of yellowish tint to it. Um, and the natural mode is definitely more natural I guess that's why they call it natural mode but the details haven't been lost you can still see um, the gravestones and the grass there I actually think I prefer the natural mode to the rich mode personally because it just looks more natural um, some people may like the vividness but yeah um, so let's just go back to the lead play yeah, I think the details have definitely been lost there. And on the screen, you do see the grass and the gravestones. So this is a printing issue. Maybe if I brighten the um, print, that may help. Now they have that setting. But to be honest, I do prefer the Evo. Uh, this one is my favourite um, out of all of them. It's maybe a bit, looks a bit overexposed because it's kind of... Uh, it was an overcast day and it's a good way of testing a camera actually because details can get lost and the sky's very white. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting. But in terms of detail, I would say the lead play is, is sharp in the image. So it kind of don't look too different in terms of the detail. Um, let's just have a look. I still think, yeah... In terms of resolution, you don't really notice it too much, but you definitely notice it with the colour and the contrast. So that's quite interesting. Um, I never really noticed that before. It's only when you put them side by side. Do you actually notice that? Um, so yeah, I reckon the Evo definitely prints better than the Lee Play. Um, so that's, that's it for now. Um, I will do more videos. Um, I may do a review of the Lee Play on its own and maybe the um, Square hybrid cameras as well. Um, I'll put links to written reviews in the comments page and also links to the um, Lee Play and Evo comparison as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.